When we had last left Team Bald, they were venturing around the humble village of Gullican. Yes, home to halflings near and far, but of course, underneath there was the horrific and insidious passageways, ruins, tunnels, uh, the Firewine ruins, that linked up to Firewine Bridge, no less. And within them did they find booby traps and an angry wizard lord, as well as earlier a o angry ogre magi. And they killed all of them. <laughs> Afterwards, they went further to the north, to a sinister-looking tower that had a foreboding cinematic and quickly, promptly turned right the hell away. <laughs> now it was time to continue exploring the wilderness beyond Baldur's Gate and along the Sword Coast. This is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I'm Welcome stressed. back. Welcome back. I have a bad case of armor, Chief. <laughs> all right, let me unhide all of this. There we go. Goodness, you know what? I forgot. I've got this. Need to rest, don't we? <laughs> I totally forgot. All right, but in between videos, I did take care of some inventory management. I stashed a you lot of the you got it. equipment that we had on us. Let's see, let's go over here. There we go. List of services, we'll get the royal. Good. Lovely. Fantastic. And we'll make our way you out want of here. It? You got but yeah, also, gentle viewer, a talking bear sent in a message this. saying that, in fact, we probably have some letters and stuff inside of our scroll case and they're taking up room that could go to additional spell scrolls and stuff you want so it? we took care you of that got, it. got rid of them had had a couple and also many people wrote in and thanks as well to all the people who gave likes and whatnot but that Durlag's tower is indeed an optional area but although we may be at uh, the appropriate level to begin doing it right and and all that we should still perhaps go all the way up here to Ulgoth's beard first. That way we can pick up some quests and get some information about the place, because apparently all of that can be found up here. So we'll put off the tower until then, right? I think we should head over to Sea Watcher, whatever this is. It looks like a lighthouse. All right, here we go. I know we just rested up, but we're probably... <laughs> By the time we get Don't there, we're probably going me. to be fucking exhausted. Should we go to this area first? Yeah, let's see. Did we clear- oh shit. I was wondering if we cleared all that out. There we go. We'll just auto attack. Good stuff. Have M1 suck all these things up. Wonderful. Oh, inventory is just full as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll move some of these around for the time being. Good. Okay. Good. Take that. Is there a way that we can actually configure dinner I've here to just this. fucking use scrolls? <laughs> to just use them? I mean, I guess it's not really worth it if... Right? Like, if the fight is worth using scrolls on... We'll have time to pause and all that, right? Yeah, we've totally looked everywhere here. I've got this. Okay. Sea Watcher. No cinematic or anything. Okay. I was kind of anticipating one, but hey. What can you do? Let's see. I guess we'll go south? Don't I'm assuming worry about me. the further westward we go, the closer we will be to the coast, and we'll see the cool lighthouse. Maybe we can go inside of it, and there'll be something fun in there. Oh shit, the music is really foreboding here. Oh my gosh, this is some foreboding ass music. Ah, oh, Sword Coast. Finally we know where we're at. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Love it. Oh shit. I've got is there this. like a dock here, maybe? Dude. I love a good spooky haunted lighthouse or whatever, if that's what we're getting at. Shoutouts to the new, I don't know if you would call it a remake, but the new Lighthouse movie. Holy shit, I loved it so much. It came out like a couple years ago at this point. But totally recommend watching it. It's got Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson in it. And your starring roles, and they are fucking amazing in it. 
There we go. Very good. Don't worry about me. Okay. Good. Still quick save just in case there's like weird traps out here. You know, the music is incredibly foreboding, so we should expect some sort of fucked up thing going on. <laughs> okay. A lot of wargs. I'm assuming there must be werewolves in this in this setting, in this universe, right? There must be. Why wouldn't there be? Are there vampires? I don't know, but I, I feel like if we're seeing like dire wolves and wargs, surely don't werewolves exist. Me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm still on the like supernatural high from playing uh, <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. All right, let's do a little bit of healing here. Oops. There we go. Getting Minsk topped off a bit. Good. Part of me is tempted to just get rid of, like, all of these low-level things, even Doom, right? Or at least one of the Blesses, right? And Charm Person or Mammal, because we don't even use them that much compared to healing. I'm starting to understand what- I forgot- <laughs> it was so long ago, but someone expressed a similar sentiment that, like, yeah, those things are useful, but they're so niche that, um, unless you're doing, like, permadeath, I guess. But they're so niche, you can just reload a save if you figure that you need it for a specific encounter. Right. Ah, here we go. Oh, you can hear all the seagulls again. Cool. Jeez, the music is really fucking spooky. Oh shit, it's storming. Oh, hobo goblins. Okay. Oh, my heart's really Good. not in this. Alright, turn them into meat. Let's get our range split onto different dudes. Oh shit, we're just like annihilating them so quickly, it doesn't really even matter. Okay, good. Probably could stand to heal up Minsk again. Lovely. Don't worry good. about me. Okay. Part of me is tempted to give the, like, speedy boots to myself, you know? Right? Because we're... We're significantly tankier than Minsk. Hmm. Do you think we should? Should we trade off? I'm kind of tempted to, especially since now I have the two-handed sword plus one. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think that makes way more sense, given how much more tanky my, my character is. All right, there we go. Good. Don't yeah, I think that totally me. makes sense, and I won't, um, I won't fall back or anything, right? Like the way the mince gets caught on the rest of the party, since I'm leading the way here. Well, that said, <laughs> it just happened. Okay, good. Let's take all these. Lovely. Magic missile, more money. I almost feel like we might be at a point where we don't even need to bother looting stuff because <laughs> we've got we've got so much don't money. Like we've me. checked every shop. I don't know, maybe like uh, the beard planet <laughs> or whatever it is. Maybe there'll be stuff there, right? Or I guess we can continue buying expensive consumables, right? What is this? Sword Coast? Yep. You know what? We got struck by lightning that one time, like the very first time we encountered a... a storm. And it has not ever happened again. Is it really that rare that we just got so unlucky on one of the first few lightning storms that we ever got in the game? <laughs> that we got struck by lightning? I think it's several times in a row, right? I don't know. Like, that's wild, right? How has it not happened again? We've been traveling through storms and shit. Weird. Because I feel like, yeah, the first time it happened, didn't it happen multiple times? Is it really that rare? Or is it just something like, the higher level you are, it scales down the chance for it to strike you? <laughs> Could that be true? Like, like whenever it, the lightning goes, it, like, it, the lightning is rolling against you, 
right? You're it's it's like it's Thacko or whatever is being measured up against your your uh oh, your defense or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Oh shit. Dread Go moves. for the eyes, Go! Go for the eyes! Rask! Okay. Good. Oh, go, go, go! really not in this. Excellent. Okay. You want it? Let's You've continue it. over here. Do a quick save. So far, a lot of nothing for this named area. Maybe the one point of interest will be this lighthouse. Right? Could be. No less than done. Okay. There I've got Make this. sure I'm... Really flying my ass around. Oh my gosh, a million hobo goblins. Okay. Wow, how many are there? Three, six, nine of them. Okay. Don't worry about me. Jesus. Okay. That's fine. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Dinner here. Do you have any, like, any fun shit that we should use? I don't know. Should we, like, cast. I don't know. <laughs> Should we use grease? Should we grease them up? Why not? Let's try and do it. There we go. I mean, they are just plain ass hobo goblins. Like we're going to go rip through the them. Yeah, go we don't even need to. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're just normal standard ass hobo goblins. My blade will cut you down to size. There we are. Any other money here we should be grabbing? Yep. Er. Good. We'll take all this while my character's just like going fucking buck wild down there. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about me. Oh shit, what was that? There's like an ID. Good. Okay. I've got this. Let's do a quick save. Head on over here. Yeah, maybe we should follow this trail? Can oh. I assist you? Here's someone. Polonia. I know why you're here. It's the same reason everyone comes to see me. And you shall get the same answer. I do not know when the iron shortage will let up. I have no clue as to who controls the bandits in the area. And I have no interest in accompanying you to the gambling tables in Baldur's Gate. Pardon me, but if you do not trouble yourself with the events of the day, what purpose do your stargazing serve? What good are your musings if they do not have practical use? Perhaps your predictions are not as accurate as you would have people believe. I have no wish to disturb you further, and shall be on my way. Let's be kind. If you do not trouble yourself with the events of the day, what purpose do your stargazing serve? What purpose? The Sword Coast is by no means the center of the universe. Lives and dramas are, are lived out across the realms. There are lands closer than you would think that neither know nor care about our little problems. I've no time for the problems of lands far away. I can barely keep up with the domestic concerns as it is. And what of these lands? What intrigues lay beyond our borders? Yeah, I want to know about that. Well, just across the southern mountains, there are troubles brewing in Great Arm that will make our current concern seem small by comparison. To the far north, there is a city where winter never rears its ugly head, a city that has never been seen nor heard from, from, heard from for many a year, but will soon welcome the return of a multitude of citizens. Both of these events will unfold. Regardless of our current troubles, great may our concerns be, but much more is on the horizon. Leave me be. I have much to think upon. Okay. So you were like some kind of famous this. clairvoyant in the area? Go Chilling with the, the hobo goblins? Go for the eyes. Very well. Ask! Okay. Let's grab that as well. Do a quick I've save. Alright. Anything else? More hobo goblins. Let's get them. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Go, go, go! Okay. 
Man, this is kind of like a, a low to mid-level area, right? Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, shit. There are motherfuckers here. Big time motherfuckers. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, blast them. Fucking blast them. Holy hell. Call the lightning down on them. Oh, shit. What is happening? They're vanishing. <gasps> okay. Oh, my gosh. They have turned me against us. I'm going to slay us all. Oh, God. How do I? <laughs> all right. Let's see. Who has Dispel Magic? We should probably use that. Can I use that? Oh, my gosh. It's happening to everyone. Oh, dear God. Okay. Go, go, go! Uh, let's see. Let's enrage. Good. Okay. Let's just make sure we all stay all off right. of Imwin and not kill her. Because she is, like, Enter extremely it. low. Oh, shit. But dinner here is, like, caught on her. Good as done. No less done. Okay. Good. Let's just make sure everyone runs away from her. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because anyone could kill her right now. For whatever reason, she is using melee. Thank goodness. Okay. Good. Thank goodness we had one in store to, like, cleanse it off of myself. Otherwise, that would have been ugly. <laughs> okay. Good. Crisis averted. All right. Okay, I take it back. This is... <laughs> There, there is some shit going on here. <laughs> okay, let's quick save. We'll rest oh. real quick. Very good. It pull, it went. Don't worry about me. Activated. Excellent. Okay. You want it? You've got it. We'll quick save again. Head back over. Hopefully, they do not uh, respawn or something. All right. I wonder if there'll be any reactivity down here for us having completed the quest earlier in the city, right? There we go. Oh, here, look. Imwin has lost a lot of her shit. Okay. Let's get the fire arrows active here. Good. Okay. Good. Don't worry about me. Alright. Up here. Let's do another quick save. Should we go along the coast yet? Like the beach? I don't know. Oh, here's the lighthouse, I guess? Okay, let's go around the beach. Let's see if there's anything good there. Oh, Hubble Goblin. Go for the ice go oh for shit, the they ice dropped a bunch of cool rock! arrows and stuff. Okay. I'll take all those. And pearls just as well. Lovely. Okay. So what are these? Arrow, identify with a scroll. Arrow of biting. Okay. You want it? You've got it. We'll do a quick save. Alright. You know, now that we've learned kind of just how fucking ridiculously powerful ranged is, is there a good reason to not just like stack our group in favor of just having all ranged people? <laughs> like by the time uh because we know we get like some sort of reset for Baldur's Gate 2, right? Should we just have it to where, like, I'm the only melee character and just have everyone else in the party be statted up for ranged? Is that ideal? Or is there going to be some new weird shit in Baldur's Gate 2 that, like, massively disincentivizes that? And, like, I'll actually be fucking myself over in a major way. Oh. Seal. This is not your place. This is the home of Seal's tribe. Dirty land folk, you shall suffer for your trespass. Oh no. All right. All right. Good. I'm about to pop my shit too. Yeah, now try and fuck with me. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. All right, I'm throwing grease down. Good. Let's throw bugs just as well. Lovely. Oh, shit, I forgot how fucking wild it looks. Oh, Minsk has turned. Okay, that's fine. 
Do we happen to have, like, a dispel in our shit here? Oh, fuck. Uh... Do we? I don't think so. No, I think we're good. Okay. That's fine. Let's make sure we have everyone on the Sirene. Except for me, I'll go on Sill. Okay. Please, no one kill Minsk. Okay. <laughs> now let's you run over it. here. You've got it. Good. Oh, look, he's going so slow now. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Good. Oh, I got a level two out of that. Jesus, how much XP do they give? Must be a lot. Look, we got so far away from Minsk, he, he's, like, leashed or whatever. Wow, yeah, they give two grand a pop? Is that it? Huh. Jeez, that is a lot. It seems that way, doesn't it? Or two grand per encounter, it seems. Okay. Oh! Don't worry about Bring me. Bring everybody back around. Let's get a level. No more pips to place. We just get our passive bonuses and all that. Okay. Sure. Man. 90 HP passively. Oh shit, what is this? Go my for the ice will cut you down the oh side. my god! What is this thing? Ooh! Awesome! Fuck yes! You I want to fight it. more you weird bugs. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. We fought a few earlier. Right? A while back. Inside of that, um, it? wasn't it you with the, it. near the wyvern, the wyvern? Hmm, okay. Quick save and going back up here. Let's see, let us grab all of these fun arrows, good. Emowyn, you take the pearls, we'll stash them. Identify that, arrow abiding, yep. Okay, we'll move those over. Wonderful. Very good. Okay. I've got Do a quick this. save as well. Oh, look! Oh, this is your domain right here. Ah, it's marked in everything. Pirate's Cave. Well, we already killed the named creature, so I've maybe inside this. it will be very easy. I've got this. Okay. You don't think there's booby traps in- Oh, fuck me! Okay. Fine. I was about to say, you don't think they said booby traps and stuff. I'm gone. Fuck. Flesh golem as well. What does this even entail? I've got this. Let's get everyone on it. My will cut you down to fuck that dude up. Oh. I mean, flesh golem- like, it sounds terrifying, right? It sounds like some kind of weird Frankenstein's monster. This. Like an amalgamation of different body parts and stuff all sewn together. But, you know, the sprite or the model, it just looks like a big naked guy. <laughs> Which, you know, I guess very literally, you know, if you're a golem like a naked. <laughs> Did you see that with the bat? The bat Don't shoving me out of the way? Incredible. But, uh, you know, I guess if you were a golem like in, in your features and all that, then sure, you're just a, a giant big guy. <laughs> I guess. Okay. You're just a really tall dude. You want it? Okay, You've let's got go it. on up here. Very carefully walk around this. Holy shit! Oh, everyone, fall the fuck back! You want it? You got it. Okay. I've done it. Oh shit! Fuck. The fucking pathing. <laughs> okay, all right, it's it? fine now. You've got it's it. fine. There's another fucking golem lord. Monsters are about. For the fallen! Let's oh. see, Jahira, do you have another um, heal for me, or are you all fresh out? No, you got more. 
There you go. Toss me a heal, if you will. Oh, look, we can investigate this thing. Good. Keep them coming. Okay, and another one. Why not? I may as well heal myself, too. I'm at it. There we are. Shit, should we do, like, the big one on me, too? Fuck it, why not? Alright, that'll do. Let's Don't see. Worry about what is me. this? Oh, shit, this is like- Oh, it's the pirate's treasure! 310 or 12 gold. Wow, holy shit, a bunch of stuff. Okay. An open wound in Mother Earth. I've got I this. I would plug it had I the power. Okay, let's grab Esther this. Get all these things to identify. Okay. Wand of Paralyzation. Useful. Dart of Wounding. A cloak of... Relair's Mistake. Okay. A manual of... Oh shit, we're out of charges. Okay. Well, let's see. Let us change around... The Jahira's stuff, right? Because we're going to plan out a rest here. Okay, good. Are there any, like, other amazing heals that we should consider using? Hmm. Part of me thinks we should get rid of the lightning, right? Because we can only use that under an open sky. Which most of the time when we need help, we're, like, in a cave or a dungeon or something, an interior. Yeah. Let's drop that in favor of cure medium wounds. Okay. Huh. Is there anything else here that we would want? I don't know. Hmm. My issue is that, uh... Hmm. When a priest casts a fine trap spell, all traps concealed normally or magically of magical or mechanical nature become apparent to her. Once each round. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just want to, like, instantly, like every second, I want that ticking rather than a round. Or every, like, quarter of a second, even. <laughs> this would really be good for my, my, like, anxiety about running into a fucking booby trap. Huh. Yeah, the... The rank 2 spells just are not really doing it for me. At least for Jahira. You know? Okay. Let's, uh, quick save, and we'll rest. Oh, we're safe. Okay. Cool. Let's get a level up here. Six more HP. Got some more spells as well. Okay. Let's ID this. Manual of Bodily Health. Constitution plus one. Oh, interesting. Now, is this retroactive? I wonder. Because aren't we at level cap now? Like, this isn't really going to do much for me, right? Because... Constitution, yeah, it just dictates your health, doesn't it? Or physical resistance to hardship, injury, and disease. Maybe. Okay. We should be at, like, level cap now, right? Level 7 is the cap for Baldur's Gate 1, I think? Alright, let's use it. Let's see. Our health is at 90. Alright. Oh, I have to equip it here. There we go, and then... Boom. Yeah, it's not retroactive. That's a shame. Okay, so we should have we should have waited to get it or gotten it early, right? I guess that's one of the things that you do if you know what you you're doing it, when you're you when it. you're playing the game, right? Okay, still that'll help us in the in the future because that should carry over, right? Oh fuck me. Okay, okay, hang on. Whoa, hang on, team. Okay, there we go. Send I've everyone in done here. Had enough of this. We got anything around here? There's a fucking bat. Could you imagine if one of the bats flew around and pushed us into a trap? How many people you think have died to a fucking bat pushing your characters into booby traps? I feel like that number is... Gotta be not zero. 
Alright, trap disarmed. This way. Flesh golem. Okay, dude is on the fucking way. Do they have a ranged attack? Like, should Imwin just, like, be unloading here and kiting it? There we go. Fuck it up, Imwin. Hell yes. I'm gonna run in, too. My blade will cut you down to size. Oh! Yeah, see, look at how good ranged is, right? Maybe by the time Baldur's Gate 2 comes around, we should just make sure our entire group is situated for ranged only, except for, like, one or two characters. Right? Maybe I'll even forego using a two-hander in favor of having a shield, that way I can just be maximum tankiness. I don't know. Something to consider. Alright, let us get more heals pumping here. Wonderful. We'll do one more for the time being. Lovely. Okay. Let's send Imowen in. Look for traps and all that. This way. Anything in this little area? There is a couple of bats. Looks like we've explored everything. Yeah, okay. Let's see, we'll move Emowyn right here. She should- Ooh, fuck. <laughs> I hate it! Oh, I hate it so much. Okay. <laughs> like, it's so bad. It gets me so bad that even just seeing it pop up, like, really Don't close to us, me. is enough to, like, startle me. <laughs> Ugh. If ever there were, like, a perk or ability that, to just, like- I don't know. Make them all go away. <laughs> I've got this. All right. Good. Let's go down here. All right. Fucking a. Let's go toward the lighthouse, I suppose. Okay. Oh shit! You know what? We didn't get all the potions, did we? <laughs> you right. I got so got excited it. by the the other you shit in there that it. I left all the potions. I think. Okay. <laughs> we should should probably take those, you know? We should probably take those. I'm gone. Okay. Here we are. Good, good, good. Yep, all the potions are still here. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Let's move them in there. And we'll keep that out. There we go. Okay, quick save, and then let's head back out. You want it? You got it. Cool. Okay. And you know, ideally, I would also want maybe some characters to have access to wizard spells, right? Like, can you dual class in Baldur's Gate 2? Or maybe you just encounter characters who are already Don't worry about me. Uh, dual classed, or whatever the correct terminology is. Right? Given that, like, I'm pretty sure it takes place at a higher level. Or do you completely restart from, like, level one? I don't know. Okay. Over here. What have we got? Anything? Keep in mind, we did rest at least, like, twice. So there may be some new randomly occurring dudes in and around. Okay. You want Good. it? You got it. Probably just hobo goblins, though. Which I'll I'll take over the sirens, sirens. Oh, Safana! Wow, I can't believe I didn't see you. You were just there in a little sliver of area. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. I've been looking for strong men like yourselves. Oh God. Okay. My character though is a woman. <laughs> What does she say the same thing if if your entire party is comprised of women though? <laughs> I have a problem that only you could help me solve. Nope, we're not falling for that lady in distress crap. Maybe if you told us your name and problem, we could help you. Let's go with that. My name is Safana, 
and I can make all of you richer than any of you could imagine. I know where the pirate, Black Alaric, dumped his greatest trove of treasure. Looking at the dynamic and intelligent men before me, I know you'd want to join me in a venture to get this treasure. Also, can we, let's just take stock as well of the men in our party. <laughs> right? Uh, Minsk? He ain't there. <laughs> right? He's a little fucked up. I don't think he gives a shit about any of this. I think he's just down to party, uh, chill with dinner here, and talk to his space hamster, right? I think that's all he's here for right now. And just fucking up anything evil. If, the, if anything is evil is going around, he wants to fly up to it and smack it with his maces, right? And Khalid? I don't think this would work on Khalid at all. Khalid is directly intertwined with Jahira in ways that we could not even fathom as mortals. <laughs> right? I don't think... <laughs> I don't think any of this, what she's putting out, is going to work on our group. I think it's going to completely bounce off of us. <laughs> Sorry, lady, you guessed wrong. Goodbye. A lost treasure, huh? We're interested. The cave to the west? It's been plundered. Ooh, reactivity. Let's say that. Well, that was unexpected. Perhaps I could join you anyway. That is, if you'll have me. My skills are of a thieving nature, among other things. We don't need another thief, not even an incredibly gorgeous one. Wait, what are we saying? <laughs> sure, you can work with us anytime. Man, whoever wrote this, just horny. Just really horny. Okay, very... I don't know, I would almost say uncharacteristic of Baldur's Gate, right? I don't know. Like, like when, when Baldur's Gate d does seem to get horny, it's very, like, cartoonish, right, you know? Well, I guess this is cartoonish in, in a way, right? It's, it's cartoonish in its own way, but, but this is more, I don't know, PG-13 cartoonish than, like, <laughs> than the usual sort of, like, awooga, awooga <laughs> that we get. <laughs> or, like, there's a naked man in my closet or whatever. <laughs> Okay. Well, no. The naked man in the closet stuff was pretty fucking wild. <laughs> Alright. Sure, you can work with us anytime. I want to see your stuff. Let's see over here. Um, let's see. Let's try... Let's get rid of Imowen here temporarily. Good. And we'll just read your shit. Oh, the OG. What does that mean? Sorry, Imowen. Just hang on for a bit. Is Safana like an important person? Why did we get Chivo when she joined the group? Huh. Okay. Let's see here. She is female, human, thief, chaotic, neutral. Okay. Sure. Proficiencies in Scimitar, Wakazashi, Ninjado, and Dart. Okay. Let's read the biography here. When asked about her past, Safana spins tale upon tale involving fantastic liaisons with pirate captains, nobles, and royalty of all shapes and sizes. The consistent details seem to be that she grew up in the city of Calimport, surrounded by luxury. Oh, we've, we know of Calimport, right? Her father was a very influential noble, and though she could have had anything, she apparently found herself too confined by her father's protective arm. She ran away in her early teens with the help of the first mate of the pirate ship Exesus and remained with the crew for several years as they raided up and down the Sword Coast. Eventually, she tried to manipulate the captain and found herself in a lot of trouble, escaping when the ship was at port in Baldur's Gate. She has many stories of escapades after that, but if there is a grain of truth in them, you certainly cannot find it. Okay. Huh. Yeah, weird. We found 
a lot of thief characters despite starting with a thief character. A thief character who's pretty, I don't know, amicable, I guess? Like, isn't Imwin, like, neutral good or whatever? Like, she gets along with most people? I'm not sure. Okay. Should we level you up? Is there, like, an advantage to doing this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should have you be good at picking pockets. Right? Why not? There we go. Oh, we can just hold this down. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, it can go over a hundred? Is there a reason why we would want that? Huh. Like, if I set fine traps above a hundred, does it work faster? Because <laughs> I would, I would gladly take that if I could. Okay. Hmm. How about over here? Can't really put an extra point into anything. I guess we'll do sling or crossbow. Why not? Oh, why can't I click down? Oh, because I have more over here. Right. I guess we'll do detect illusion. Why not? Good. Okay. Do you actually have anything with you of interest? Ninjato. Leather armor. Okay, let's get Emma one back. You want it? You got it. All right. Sorry to have kept you waiting. There we are. Good. Done. And then let's move them. Can I not stay with you even a little longer? Our time together has been quite enjoyable. Ah oh, well, perhaps we will. We shall meet again. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There we are. Good. You want it? You got it. Yeah, isn't Imwin... She's neutral good, right? Don't neutral goods turn, tend to get... Well, I guess if you're just pure evil. You right? want it? You got it. Anything evil. Not liable to get along with. Alright. A lot of... I guess, I guess what I'm saying is a lot of different flavors of rogue to choose from. And not of many of other classes. Like, are there even some some classes that you can't get in your party? I don't know. Alright. Arkashul. Pleasure to meet you. Who might you be, then? Ah, great adventurers, no doubt. I could tell by your hands. Stained with magic and the effort of hefting a weapon. Such markings may be invisible to the average eye, but I can see them plain as day. I can see a lot plain as day. Care for a consultation? Perhaps a little old-fashioned palm reading? A little gypsy magic to steer your course straight and true? Be gone! I have no use for your rambling incantations. I have access to my own magic. I see no harm in a little divination on your part. Here's my palm. What does it tell you? Sure, why not? Here's my palm. Let's have a look now. Interesting. Though you live the hard life now, your hand tells of a softer existence not long ago. I assume that... You have just recently taken to the road? That much is true, yes. Do go on. I do not wish to know your opinion of my manicure. Enough of this foolishness. Yeah, let's hear her out. I thought as much. Let's have a little closer look now. Back down your lifeline. I see a scholarly influence. And you are well educated. You had a mentor who was a great sage, perhaps a considerable power as well, perhaps of considerable power as well. My foster father, Garion, was a sage and a bit of a mage as well. Maybe you already know who I am and you're an assassin. Oh, end this game. I do not wish to indulge this any further. Yeah, Garion was a sage and a bit of a mage. Go on. You had a reasonably happy childhood with him. Aside from being a little difficult, my, my, but you were quite the little hellion. Wonder where that comes from. Hmm. 
They keep alluding to this, right? This ties back into some of the stuff from before. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we can't learn about you back before this Gorion. Further back, I see. I see. Merciful gods. I see a long and happy life for you and yours. Ten gold, please, and I'll be on my way. Well, a happy ending after all. Here's your gold. Thanks for the reading. What? What is it that you saw? What is it that you saw? I saw nothing. You will live long and enjoy your life. I'll be going now. Back from me. Or back from me. Suit yourself. Here's the gold you asked for. You must tell me, please, dear lady. I've told you all I'm going to. Stay back from me. Your life is none of my affair. Please, I don't mean to be rude. Just tell me what your vision revealed. As you would have it, here's the gold. Tell me! Stay away from me! I warn you, I'll not let you near me. Wow, she's attacking us! Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay. Well, right. we killed her. We murdered her. Is this murder? Go, I feel like go, this is go. murder. I feel like we've murdered this woman. Okay. You want it? You got it. Well, what can you do? <laughs> Let's see. Do you have a cool robe? Fucking mage robe of cold resistance. Fuck me. I All got right. this. <laughs> well, you know what? We've had a lot of adventures around here. Perhaps we should call it for now and do a little bit of reading, right? Let's see, because we do have... Over here, where is it? Oh, jeez, if I can even find it. Is this... No? Is it on me? No, it is! I'm pretty sure we haven't read this. Let me double check. History of the Valley of the Gods. Yeah, we have not read that. I'll cross that one off. Unless this is one I forgot to cross off. All right. Oh, it's really short. Okay. History of the Valley of the Gods. It is said that even the powers must cavort and amuse themselves once in a great while. Far to the north of the spine of the world is the Valley of the Gods, a paradise unequaled on this world or in the plains. This playground of the gods is not meant for mortals. Any mortal who reaches the valley becomes a deity, for only deities may exist in the valley. Far too many mortals, with delusions of grandeur, have thrown away the pleasures of this side of the spine and their kingdoms in this world, only to break their backs, searching for the legendary Valley of the Gods. Huh. I get- is it real? Or is it meant to be like a, a red herring? Huh. Okay. Sure. Why not? Alright. Let's drop it. There we go. Well, that was a lot shorter than I was expecting. <laughs> well, I suppose when next we come back, we'll check out the lighthouse. We'll continue to investigate around the map. We have just a few more places to go, and then we'll finally head on up to Ulgoth's Beard. That said, unless there's, like, secret places that we have not yet uncovered, right? Or ones that we, we will inevitably miss, right? I don't know. Maybe at, at some point, should I look up to see if there's any places we haven't been? Perhaps? I don't know. Because there's a decent chance I've missed it. Alright, like, especially up here to the north. Like, there's space for some extra shit, but... There is no such thing at the moment. Hmm. All right. Well, when next we come back, more exploring around. Until next time, please take care of each other.